Jane Cunningham Crowley December 19, 1829 to December 23, 1901, was an American author and journalist, better known by her pseudonym, Jenny June. She was a pioneer author and editor of women's columns in leading newspapers and magazines in New York. She founded the Cirrhosis Club for Women in New York in 1868 and in 1889 expanded it nationwide to the General Federation of Women's Clubs. She also founded the Women's Press Club of New York City. Early life Jane Cunningham was born in England, the daughter of a Unitarian minister, Reverend Joseph Cunningham, and his wife Jane Scott. The family emigrated to the United States when young Jane was 12. The family first lived in Poughkeepsie, New York, and later in Southbridge, Massachusetts. Professional career. Jane first became interested in journalism while a student, she started by editing the school newspaper. Later, she edited and published the newspaper for her brother's church. By 1855, she had moved to New York in search of full-time journalism work, and some sources say it was there she first used the pseudonym, Jenny June. But other sources say that, Jenny June was a childhood nickname, given to her by a family friend when Jenny was 12 years old. After applying to several newspapers and being turned down, she was eventually hired by a publication called Nose Sunday Times often erroneously reported as the New York Times, for whom she did not work. This was a publication edited by Mordecai Manuel Noah. At Nose, she began writing a regular women's column, focusing on such traditional subjects as fashion, cooking, and the arts. She would later recall this time as challenging, since few newspapers wanted to hire a woman at all, and if they did so, it was only in the areas set aside for women's interests. There was great resistance from male editors about hiring a woman to cover news or do serious reporting outside of what was considered women's sphere. As a result of her journalism career, she also met her husband, a fellow journalist and editor for the New York Herald. His name was David G. Crowley and they were married on St. Valentine's Day, February 14, 1856. They had three daughters, Minnie, Viola and Alice, and one son, Herbert David. Herbert Crowley went on to a career in journalism, becoming editor of the New Republic magazine. She would later tell interviewers that thanks to her husband, her career in journalism advanced, he hired her at New York World, and her career progressed from then on. While most women were expected to give up their career after marrying, Jenny June continued to work, and did so even after having children. She was the editor of Demarest's magazine from 1860 to 1887. This magazine devoted itself to women's fashions, and Jenny became known as an expert in the subject, widely quoted in other publications. She was later the editor of the Cycle magazine, which she founded, and also the Homemaker magazine. Additionally, her columns were often syndicated on women's pages throughout the United States. Topic Feminist Crowley was a pioneer feminist, dedicated to the betterment of her sex. She called for more efficiency in women's dress, and ridiculed bloomers as bizarre. She insisted that women's finest work was to be the caretakers, the homemakers, the educators of children. Crowley sympathized with the women's suffrage movement but was not active in it. She strongly supported equality and equal rights, giving special emphasis to new careers for middle class women such as secretary, bookkeeper, nursing, and department store clerk, in addition to traditional roles of teaching. Schlesinger argues that, Crowley's lasting contribution to the progress of American women was her insistence that sex be submerged in competent performance. She told American women that financial independence and economic equality was as or more important than the right to vote. She called the first Congresses of Women in 1856 and 1869, organized cirrhosis in 1869. It was an organization that advocated for greater acceptance and more professional opportunities for women. It did not concern itself with politics or women's suffrage. Jenny June told the press that she envisioned the club, whose name is a Greek botanical term for a kind of tree that yields various kinds of fruits and flowers as a salon where women could gather and exchange ideas, enjoy literature, and discuss the arts. 
She later organized its successor, the General Federation of Women's Clubs, in 1890. She also founded the New York Women's Press Club in 1889 and became its first president. Early meetings were held in her home. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Final Years. In her later years, Jenny June Crowley was often referred to in the press as the mother of women's clubs. A term that was also mentioned when newspapers reported on how she became ill in the summer of 1898. She suffered a serious fall and broke her hip. Her close friend Ellen Demarest, for whose fashion magazine she once worked, also became ill around that same time, suffering a stroke. It seems that she never entirely recovered and, in 1900 announced that she was retiring from newspaper and club work. She made a trip back to England, to see the country of her birth after so many years away and, after returning to New York, she died of heart failure, on December 23, 1901, at the age of 72. In 1994, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Works <laughs> 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 For Better or Worse, 1875 Jenny Juniana, Tald's on Women's Topics 1864 Cookery Book for Young Housekeepers 1866 Knitting and Crochet 1885 Thrown on Her Own Resources 1891 History of the Women's Club Movement in America 1898 and 1900